So here we have, uh, today we're going to try and make some Kentucky style chicken. And first of all, we are going to boil or simmer the chicken for 15 minutes. So the pan is heating up. We put the pieces in here. One way or another. pieces happen to be in this box. So put them on there and then that one just a bit more. And we'll put the lid on there. And voila, then lid. And then we will bind up the box. Put it on there. And we will give that a timer. When it starts cooking, we should give it 15 minutes. Now in the meantime, once that's warming up, we need one onion, which we just happen to have here. Some glasses, not to chop the fingers off. And we get the onion ready. There we go. Like this and like that. Get rid of that bit. Not that great an onion, but might as well use it up. I'll show you where that's going in a moment. Right. I can't brush it off. Right. Right here. Okay. This we will chop out with little bits. Now you can set the timer and give that 15 minutes and it's going simmering away. And the onion. Put these little bits of onion. Into this bowl. Looks like this, you see. And there, I'm going to put some milk, and quite a lot of milk, maybe half this bottle, about that much. And I put a few other things just for a bit of good luck, put a bit of salt in there, and a bit of pepper in there. What else can we have? We can have a bit of, a bit of even, a little bit of curry powder in there. When I'm at it, I even want to put a yogurt in there. Just to see how that goes. Not touching with that knife, because I used that for the chicken, didn't I? Now the next phase, that is ready for, for what? For when the, uh, the chicken is done. Put it in here. So it's stirred it up a bit. And that is going to be the marinade. So what we will do now is we will leave that 15 minutes. So there we have the uh, chickens in the pan, it's uh, simmering away a little bit and will be there for 15 minutes. And here we have the marinade, which is uh, today just milk with some onions and a bit of spices in it. And the chicken we shall dip in that. And afterwards it will turn into raita, which you can eat so nothing is left over. Whilst all that is going on, I shall prepare a couple of potatoes, for which we have a potato peeler. Here we go. Chop these up a little bit. Like this. Like 
half a centimeter or half an inch. And these will become chips. Good. And then here we have some prepared chips which are going to be simmered 15 minutes in one moment. We don't have today, I'm usually going to have some of these. But uh, we'll do those a bit near the time. So that's prepared. Right, so now the bell has just rung. So what we'll do is to take the chicken from here. And we shall put it to marinade in there. later. We'll do them 15 minutes later. What we do now is to steam the liquid. Actually, spoon it over the chicken. So the chicken has got a bit of immersion in there. Spooning over the milk and the chicken and we shall let that marinate about three and a half to four hours. Now I have been basting the, uh, the chicken to stop it drying out because I didn't have quite enough milk in there. It's had two hours. I've changed the water in the pan and I'm going to drop in there the uh, potatoes which I made into chips. Sometimes I do them in slices, salted potatoes, but here we have chips. I mean, normally we do them just before. Putting the water on the boil, these are the area and they turn a bit black. But they'll be okay. And you can give them a little bit of salt. Salt is which is this one. Okay. Right. And when that boils up a bit, it will get 15 minutes. And today I've also got something else. I've got uh, some parsley, which I don't usually buy these things, but uh, we can put a couple of these in there. End of it. So what we'll do is we'll cut the timer. It will be 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more, so it warms up a bit. So you don't want the potatoes too long because they will break up, and we don't want it to be too short because they will then be too hard. So in 50 minutes I will come back and we'll take us to the next stage. Okay, so uh, whilst the uh, potatoes are steaming away, or simmering away, we shall prepare the chicken here. First of all, we need uh, a container. I just happen to have one here. And we have to put some flour, which I just happen to have a bag of flour here. So we can open this if we're lucky. Somehow or other. a bit of flour. Some people use flour, some people use breadcrumbs, some people use flour and breadcrumbs. I have a bit of breadcrumbs as well. And then what we do is we make it spicy according to the famous secret recipe which nobody knows but what we'll do is a little bit of salt there. And just have a little bit of pepper coming in here. that the uh, secret recipe is actually very similar to Italian seasoning. So we've got a bit of that. We've we'll just put a bit of that in there. Bring this, not too much. I'm not that pleased too much. We've got a bit of this. What's this? Curcuma. I think it's named for that. Curcuma. Something in there for that, isn't it? A little bit of 
the rest of there. Uh, and I also got a bit of curry powder. You can give a bit of this too. I don't put in too much really because I'm using all the, the material for that. So the next thing is we just stir it up a bit. This is a spoon. In fact there isn't much spices in this at all really. Compared to some people might do it. Enough. I say, next thing is, you need a plate uh, to put the chicken in. So we have a plate. You can get the tongs here. How am I going to do this? We've got some more. Put it over there. So I'll put one out of here. Let's do one of them. And I'll just drop it in there. And then we get some. Actually, you could put it back in there. You give it a second help. <laughs> you can give it a second help with the flour. And it sometimes comes a bit thick then, won't it? potatoes on this here. This side is really broken up a bit. It's supposed to be wood too long in there, not mine. Dry up a bit. And of course the parsnips don't need to be fried. Well, they're good potatoes really if they're cooked long enough, but we don't want to cook them long enough. We want them uh, just right. Hot boiled is the word. So that they can all be deep fried in a big pan of got. Or they could be put on a rolling kind of frying pan, just fried it that. Shallow fry is the word. Or just fry it. So we don't put it out the way. And what we're going to do now is put that over there. You can see there's not a great deal of space. So we put the used water. Not to burn the galley over there. And we get this pan here. Put that over there. Just got some pan on it. And turn it up excellent. That has not been cleaned from last time. It's only got the same old oil. It would have been better to have filtered the oil. Mind, but put some oil over there. See how it goes. So once that's heated up, I'll put it under there. Prepare another one of these little chickens. Boy, we can get on the flour trick. Like that. Line a bit. That's okay. We don't have it too thick, really. Put that one on here. Remember which one had the. Uh, Double coating. Next one. That's a big, nice big chunk there. Now, a bit like that. Go like around a bit like that. And uh, take it out. That's three. And four. What I like about using the milk is that the milk afterwards, you can use it, you can make it become a kind of wheat, that kind of yogurt -y kind of stuff. So it's not thrown away, but as if you use the, the egg uh, to make it stick, make the flour and stuff stick, which it does very well, you've got one or two eggs left over in it, which you don't know what to do with. So I usually just make them into a bit of an omelette, but I don't really want to make any omelettes. It's just like, it's the stuff that's left over. So this way there's not too much stuff left over. We don't want any stuff left over and thrown away. So we've got the right amount of flour on there. We can give a space for that. That one will go there. And this one, maybe get two coats of flour for this one. Just to see. There we are. Some flour. Of course you 
else from the coleslaw? So we'll put the spices directly onto the chicken, like now, for example, before giving it a second coat and dip. Turn that around. In there. See that one in there? That in here. More flour. Uh, no. much space to put this stuff in there. So that's that. Having done that, we will take this out of the way and put it somewhere. Put it somewhere. And on this other table over here. And space. And the same with this, we don't need the flour in there. We'll put that somewhere else over there. Next thing is we need a thermometer. And I just have to have one right here. The thermometer. And we'll heat up the oil to 365 degrees. Over 330 and not more than 370 digital thermometer. Now I have to wait for the oil. And after the oil comes the turn of the chicken, followed by the, uh, the pre prepared uh, potato chips. So now I have prepared the chicken by. Uh, First marinating it, then dipping it in flour with the various spices in the flour. And right now I'm waiting for the uh, oil to warm up. My target is about 365 degrees. And uh, I have over here the uh, potatoes which I uh, simmered for about 15 minutes. Okay, so I have the uh, hot plate. It was about half warm and I put it on maximum power. 10 minutes later, it's only reached 118 degrees, so we have to have plan B. First of all, what we shall do is just add a little bit to the rice, and make it a bit larger. And uh, I'll put my chicken over here. Uh, just take away the, the board I'm using. And I shall bring up this old and switch off the gas, the electric, because that's a waste of time. And I'll bring up this gas. Oh, can't be stuck. Push that over there. Push this on. And in two minutes this will be ready, won't it? We heat it up almost immediately. Right. Now, having done all that, I hope you can see on that picture there. The light's not great, we'll make it better next time. Um, you'll get the temperature up. First of all, you can see it's coming up quite good already. It's only on less than two minutes. Right, so uh, how are we doing? We'll put that in there. And, and I'm going to change the battery on this. It just looks to me it's not working because oh, it's on sync with it. Oh no, it's not right, is it? Got changed, that's what's happened to it. It is warming up. Take, well, take back what I said about the electric. It was got accidentally changed to centigrade. Now that's on 286 Fahrenheit. That's what it is. 294, I'm climbing fast. When it gets to 330, I can put it in, but not, not before 330. And usually, Usually I would do all the chicken and then I would do all the potatoes. But today I'll, I'll just do a couple of bits of chicken and maybe put a couple of bits of potato in with it. 313, 318, ouch. Of course the gas is also heating the boat up and this is like uh, at this moment end of November, almost December. It's a bit chilly as it's in, still in Spain but still chilly. So the gas does a good job heating the boat, the electric it doesn't. And we've got electric radiators and they're much the same. They heat a little bit of space where they are. And that's all. 322. A couple more minutes and we'll be halfway there. Right, so how are we doing now? We're on uh, 7241, blah blah. 309, 318, 324. 335 and climbing. 340. 340, 3. Oh, okay, I agree. that's going to be up to something different. So what we do, 
now we should put in this big one. So now I have three of the pieces in the pan, which was on the gas box, because I thought it wasn't heating on the electric. What had happened was if the thermometer had been accidentally changed. So now we went in at about 360 degrees, and I'm going to give them about 10 minutes and see how they turn out. And we also have a few chips, which are from my stock drying over here after being parboiled, and they will be all in the pan together. But usually I will do them separately. Here. And another one there. And the third one. Whoop. In there. Oh. I didn't get some chips in. I didn't do that. Drop those in. Good chip. Chunky one. Chunky chip. One parchment. Here we go in there. And we have a lid. We can put the lid on it now. I've got a lid here. I'll just put the lid on there. I'm going to give that about 10 minutes. It doesn't happen to have a clock. I'll put the clock on. And it's ticking. The time is ticking away. And we can turn down the gas a bit because the gas is quite powerful. The uh, electric was very good for simmering stuff, excellent for simmering things, not so good for frying things. And the gas, that's good for everything really, but it's only a small cylinder. A cylinder would last three hours altogether, so it's easier to use the marine electric for most of the stuff I do. I do have an oven underneath here, but the oven doesn't work. It has two gas rings, but they're not as powerful as the camping stove. This one I've had eight years, which is why it's somewhat rusty. Things corrode on the boat extremely fast. Now I'm just going to turn this in a moment. I think that's a moment. I'll just do that. Let's turn them over a bit. Because there wasn't all that much oil. That's what can stay there. Now they've been about uh, six minutes so far and I think they're probably cooked. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this out, put them on a towel to dry up a little bit of any oil that's around. And I'm going to do the rest of the chicken so that will be probably half that cold tomorrow so that it's cooked and clean. It's not partly cooked and warmed up tomorrow, which is not a good idea. So let's have a look at the chicken and see how it's getting on. Not forgetting the chicken was being really pre-cooked by simmering it. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good and it's nice and soft and juicy. And put them there. And how about the chips? You can see some chips in here. There's a couple of chips. They look not too bad either. There's any chips in. I'll show you in a moment. Some more chips. Some more chips. And some chips. And come out. Right. And uh, there are those things. And uh, I might as well just drop the next batch in. So they can get done today. One, two, you can see the temperature has dropped a lot by dipping on the electric. And uh, I've got some more potatoes. There's a parsnip, a parsnip, and the other parsnip, that's for today. I'll put some chips in here. I'll put a lid on it in a moment as well, actually. That's even a little bit. I'll just have to have longer. You have to put it back on the gas. Put it back on here to make more space for it. I'll be okay with that. I'll turn these a little bit. Now, I'll put the lid on. The lid should help increase the temperature, but it's just this. how it is with electric. So, let me have a look at this. We'll put it in the plate. This is the problem, not space for anything. So 
put this back in the other hand, taking it out. Way. Now here we are, I'm going to maybe put this here and see if I can show how it looks. I can I see that or not? Whoops, going to fall on the floor, we don't want that do we? Uh, get my other camera and film it on the other camera too. Right, thank you very much. Train ducky That's the bell ringing to tell me it's done. <laughs> I've just been five minutes or four minutes ahead of the bell. Taken the chicken out of the uh, the pot over there. I put the other three pieces in the pot so they'll be cooked today. And I can have them cold tomorrow. So these uh, are the uh, the Kentucky style chicken fried chicken along with the fried potatoes. A couple of parsnips which are down here which are um, only parboiled, not fried. And uh, we'll just have a going month And I hope that I think that's turned out quite well really. The paper is supposed to take the oil, but it, they could be alright without the paper. Usually I will put them on another plate, but uh, we live in a boat, so we have to be economic with everything we do. We don't want to waste bits of paper or more plates to wash up. So I've taken the uh, remaining three out of the pan, which is over there, and I've put them on a ceramic plate, along with some potatoes which were cooked in the pan, and a couple of bits of parsnips which were uh, simmered 15 minutes earlier and these will serve very well for tomorrow. So here we are and uh, I shall just have a go and turn this off. A bit of chip first, one bit of a chip. A little bit cold now because it's cold outside. Baby it's cold outside. There we are. Mm. Delicious and uh, one bit of homemade Kentucky style chicken. There we are. Delicious. Hmm. There we are. I'll it the camera because I can't move the camera. Not right now. Very, very good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Best one I've done so far. Hmm. Hey, that's amigos. <laughs>